What is up everybody, Gary Simon here. So today I'm gonna to show you how to very quickly improve the quality of your design through what I call design accents and implementing those. And so if you look at the YouTube description, I have a list of about 10 different uh, resources on the Figma community beta section that people have created with these little accent slash illustrations that you can implement on your UI designs. So here are three different designs that uh, I'm gonna show you how to improve very quickly with these accents. So here's the first one, here's a second one, and here is more of a full landing page. And I'll show you how to make it just a little bit more interesting through the use of design accents. All right, so as always, make sure to subscribe and let's get started. All right, so here is the first example, uh, just a very simple, 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 simple uh, landing page. This is actually from the curriculum. It's uh, the first challenge just to create something really simple like this. And we could definitely benefit by adding um, one of these uh, accents to the design. So. Um, let me get out my browser here. Oh, guess what? It's not going to work. That's awesome. Uh, there it is. Okay. Um, and so here's from like one of the uh, first, uh, the first example actually. Uh, it's listed in the YouTube description, and you can see there's just a ton of different little weird assets or accents rather that you can use and integrate uh, into your design. All right. So for us, maybe it would be cool. Um, let me find one here that I think just actually any of these would work for the most part. Um, yeah, let's take this one down here actually. All right. And let's just uh, duplicate this. So I'm going to move this over actually quite a bit. So we have some wor room, not worm. All right, let's paste that in. All right. So you're going to obviously have to do some work with these um, and you can modify them because they're all made within Figma or at least they're available within Figma. You can modify colors and all that good stuff. So uh, maybe to make this one work, we'll kind of like bump it up quite a bit in terms of the size. Let's maybe just push it over over here. Uh, maybe we could just get rid of this and push this stuff down. There we go. Alignment. Remember, always align things that make sense. We have this photograph ending right there. So perhaps this text could end right there as well. Um, and this actually works just as is. I, I think I probably could stand to make this a little bit larger. Maybe get rid of a few of these. Uh, we don't necessarily need those all the way. And then maybe move these up um, and, and down like this up to the, there we go. And so of course it's all about just having fun and playing with um, these different assets that you have access to. Now, of course, like I said, there's 28 different colors. It looks like they repeated a bunch of them, unfortunately. So this one would be a pain to change some colors. But remember, quick tip, control, left click will allow you to select into the individual layer. And then you can just change colors um, that make sense for you. So maybe we can change this to a solid and then we can grab a color from somewhere else in the design and then start to bring it together in terms of a cohesive color scheme. Um, but for there, I think I'm happy with that as is. And that's just a quick example um, of something that you could do that could potentially work. Let's actually try another one. Uh, if we zoom out, yeah, I kind of have like some blob things over here. Um, let's take uh, just this group here and copy that. And we'll go back. All right, let's just, uh, let's replicate this one again here. I'm having issues selecting things. There it goes. Jeez, what was happening? All right, so now I, I could just paste this in. Now this one's gonna have a little bit of work to do. I will probably here. Let's see. This is your layout. That's all the way down here. Let's uh, let's condense this. So that's there. We need to get our group into there. There we go. And then now we can start just um, Control Shift clicking and getting rid of a lot of these shapes that maybe don't make sense to to be included here. Um, Let's see, we could probably get rid of this background again too. Uh, then, then move stuff back up and then take this, position it to the bottom. There we go, because it was overlapping some things. Uh, we could probably scale this down. There we go, move it up. And look how quick I was able to adjust this and create just a totally different look as a design accent. Very fun when you start to explore and you know be creative about things. We could even move this down a little bit more and make this more of a focal point. There we go. I kind of like that better. 
simple, super, super, super simple. Let's try another one. So um, there's there's a another resource that I linked, and that resource, uh, if I bring this up, is hand drawn elements. All right. So if we take a look at um, this one right here, let's copy that, and we paste it. And you can use this to emphasize words, so we could scale it down. Maybe make it, yeah. Actually, that was a fine size. Double click into it to gain access to the vector itself and change the color. White works, or we could just make it black as well. Kind of like that. Get that position there. And there we go. We've added just, it, like I said, it's an accent. It's like in, instant interest to it. Uh, and I really like it personally, just to add these small accents to kind of enhance the design. All right, so here is a design that I simplified from a user who actually submitted from a, um, a designcourse.com challenge. Um, and I think there's some areas, I made it super simple. They, are, they did a good job adding accents on there. I, was, I removed their accents. I just wanted to show a couple areas where you can uh, this design could benefit from accents. And there is a massive plane flying by my house right now. All right, so Let's go ahead and I'm just going to come back to our area here where we have all of our different situations. Yeah, so here's a, a real cool, powerful library. We have all these shapes and you can kind of combine them together to create really interesting, just kind of mur murals, I guess you could say. Um, I'm gonna, they also have patterns, by the way, as well, which is very cool. Uh, let's say we want to just take this random shape here and we'll go back and this over here looks kind of bland to me so let's paste this in maybe it could be like a watermark maybe a real big one let's make it white and then make it a watermark which means right now it's way too high contrast obviously let's make it like 10 for the pass through all right so we just instantly within a few seconds made this you know, kind of interesting. Let's go back to our assets here. So let's copy this one right there. All right. And then we'll go back because it kind of looks like a chat flip. Maybe we'll paste that in. We can flip horizontal, scale that down, holding shift. Actually, I kind of want to flip it back. Wait, no, not that way. There we go. All right, and then we'll make that white, perhaps. All right, let me make this, push this to the back. All right, so very simple area. Um, another area, like notice how this is, you know, real simple, just plain white background. We can add texture to that by, um, I, I really like this. There's so many cool different things we can pick from, um, like these little uh, X's. I uh, will get a circle here. Of course, you can make these all yourself fairly simply. Um, let's see, let's just copy and get those in here, paste those just so we can use them and start to position them in different areas around our area here, our situation. So let's take this. Um, maybe we could, I think I really like this one. So this is a part of a group right here. We can copy that, go back. And you know, the, the how you choose to color these, entirely up to you. If you're gonna have them high contrast like this, I would say it would make sense to keep them smaller. If you want elements that are bigger, you don't want it to distract and take away from the focal content or the type right here, because this is the important part. Uh, that's what people actually need to read and use um, and see. So you would wanna make certain elements perhaps watermarked like this if they're of a larger nature. So we could take this, Maybe we can overlap one on top. Maybe make this like a plus sign, make it higher contrast. So again, it's just all about having fun, doing different things 
and spicing things up. Maybe I'll add one more element and we'll conclude this because it could take some time just to create something that's interesting. Maybe we'll take that and we'll go back. Where do we wanna put this situation? Again, it's pretty high contrast. Maybe we can make this watermarked as well. Use different colors that are found throughout the design. Take this, get that to the front, maybe use this color. And again, like I said, it's all about just uh, experimenting. Yeah, there we go. Something like that. Maybe this thing is a little bit too much. Again, it's just all about playing around with things. And personally, I would leave that off. So, yeah, so you can certainly overdo it which I would advise against. Change up the shapes and the sizes. Let's get this. The bigger they are, like I said, the lower contrast you want. All right, and there we go. So I, I don't have the original, unfortunately, but this is a lot more simple I can easily just delete these so we can get a quick before and after. There we go. So we have the original here versus this. Just small design accents. They don't take away from the content, but they just give you texture essentially. Awesome, awesome stuff. All right, everybody, hopefully you found that interesting and useful. If you did, of course, check out designcourse.com where you can learn UI, UX interactively. And also make sure to subscribe, like, leave a comment, all that good stuff. And I'll see you soon. Goodbye.